So Disney has bought a stake to the sum of $1.5 billion in Epic Games. Because suddenly, they've had a news flash and they've gone, people really, people, pl they play games. People play games, they, they play a lot of games. Wow. If only we had a, if only, if only, if only we had a video game studio. If only we had a video game studio. So what we'll do, we'll invest in one instead. $1.5 billion. You had one, you idiots. You literally had one. The absolute, these people are so incredibly stupid. So incredibly stupid. You literally had an established studio. Yeah, it had some issues here and there, but you could have saved it. Now, nah, mate, we'll just invest $1.5 billion in Epic Games. Idiots. Absolute idiots. I hope Epic Games just falls apart anyway, because I hate Fortnite. I think Fortnite's absolutely garbage. Uh, yes, I'm, I'm an old man, uh, and I'm here to piss all over your fireworks if you love Fortnite. Anyway, let's take a look, right? So this all came out, this sheer lunacy all came out from the quarter one fiscal year 2024 earnings call, which was yesterday. And we're here to talk about it. So Disney's going to invest $1.5 billion to acquire an equity stake in Epic Games alongside a multi-year collaboration on a new games and entertainment universe focused on Fortnite. <laughs> so they paid $1.5, just, just, to, just to throw it out there. They paid $1.5 billion for cameos in Fortnite. That's what they've done. Collaboration on new games and entertainment universes focused on Fortnite. Right. To exp So what if Fortnite suddenly falls apart and everyone goes to Power World instead? Ah, oh, you fucked. Uh, to expand the reach of Disney stories and experiences. So, all of that absolute garbage that you won't let your kids watch on Disney Plus now, and you won't take them to see in the theatres, it's now going to be in their favourite game. So enjoy that struggle session you're going to have with your children. Uh, no, I don't think you should be playing that game now, because, you know, Disney's put some LGBTQ shite in it. Oh, it's <laughs> Insane. Insane. Anyway, what, what was said, right? What was said. Uh, in addition to being a world-class games experience and interoperating with Fortnite, the, the new universe will offer a multitude of opportunities for consumers to play, watch, shop, and engage with content, characters, and stories from Disney, Pixar, Marvel, Star Wars, Avatar, and more. Uh, they said in a press release announcing the news, players, gamers, and fans will be able to create their own stories and experiences, express their fandom in a distinctly Disney way. So what are they all going to have? Like strap-ons to their faces or something like that. That's, that's, that, that's pretty Disney nowadays, isn't it? And share content with each other in ways that they love. So the collaboration will be powered by Unreal Engine. Uh, on a call after the quarterly earnings, Iger said that he began looking into games soon after his return to Disney in the fall of 2022. You, you would have thought you'd have done it when you shut down LucasArts, you fucking dumbass. Uh, meeting with Parks and Experiences Chief Josh DeMauro and his team. And the first thing they showed me was demographic trends. This is Bob Iger. Like, mind blown that children like video games. This guy's so dumb. And the first thing they showed me was demographic trends. When I saw Gen Z and Gen Alpha... And even millennials. And I saw the amount of time they were spending. In terms of their total media screen time on video games. It was stunning to me. You've only just figured this out. You're the CEO of the, one of the biggest companies in the world. And you've only just figured this out. If I was on that Disney board. I'd be seriously worried. You shut down a video game studio. Do some research before you do that you idiot. It was equal to what they spent on TV and movies. 
Yeah, that is also because people don't watch TV and movies anymore because it's all crap because you keep putting out crap. Uh, and the conclusion I reached was, we have to be there. You was there. <laughs> and we have to be there as soon as we possibly can in every compelling way. Oh, if only you had your own video game studio to use. Oh, idiots. Absolute idiots. He said Disney had seen success when its characters and franchises showed up in Fortnite. Iger knew Tim Sweeney, so they met. We started a discussion about what if we create a gigantic Disney world that could live next to Fortnite and be completely interconnected with it. A world where people could play games that we create, could create their own games, could watch. You can imagine the creation of short form videos or maybe we can use the platform to actually distribute some of our content. They're trying to integrate Disney Plus with some online shit. Oh my God. They're basically trying to create their own metaverse, I guess. Uh, people that could interact with one another. Yeah, the metaverse. And ultimately, some form of shopping as well. Gotta get that shopping in there. Because now unsupervised children will buy crap and turn up at your doorstep. Obviously, there'll be some... Uh, they're the opportunities to buy digital goods. But maybe even at some point in physical goods. And I just think that given the demographic trends and given the success of Fortnite, we think... Just as we take our IP from our movies and our television and have them expressed in our parks, this is a great way to do it in games. And for us, it's a way to have skin in the game with them. Yeah, again, you had your own video game studio. The investment strengthens the partnership because we have skin in the game. Also, we're actually not creating too much risk for the company, which is $1.5 billion. So as we see it, this is the best of all worlds in many respects, from a business venture perspective and certainly great for consumers who love to interact with our characters already in video game format so i'm really thrilled about it uh, and there's some more statements here our exciting new relationship with epic games will bring together disney's beloved brands and franchises with a hugely popular Fortnite in a transformational new games and entertainment universe this marks disney's biggest entry ever into the world of games and offers significant opportunities for growth and expansion and we can't wait for fans to experience the Disney stories and worlds they love in groundbreaking new ways. This sounds like absolute trash. It sounds like old man like trying to be hip and cool. Disney was one of the first companies to believe in the potential of bringing their worlds together with ours in Fortnite. Now we're collaborating on something entirely new to build a persistent, open and inter interoperable uh, ecosystem that will bring together the Disney and Fortnite communities. Apparently Fortnite's open ecosystem will help us reach consumers where they are so they can engage with Disney in the ways that are most relevant to them. This actually sounds terrible. Genuinely. That sounds awful. And again, like I said, you had your own company. You had your own company you could have done this then obviously not on the scale but you could have had skin in the game straight away you idiots absolute idiots what do you guys think It'd be a shame if fortnite went bust wouldn't it and just interest waned because these things they're trends they ultimately do go away i'm old i've seen a lot of trends anyway leave your thoughts down below take care bye bye now